What is up you guys welcome back to another one if you're new to the channel I'm gold pony This is gold pony crypto and so I've been putting out a lot of videos lately on nfts because to be quite honest I'm becoming slightly obsessed and so in some of my videos I've been getting a lot of the same question which is how do I go about buying these NFTs that you're talking about? Because I think what everyone is used to at this point is crypto.com backslash NFT, which I've already made videos on. And that's an excellent platform. But if I'm being honest, Kronos NFTs are a heck of a lot more rewarding. There's a lot more utility with the Kronos NFTs. You got things like NFT staking that you can't get on crypto.com NFT. You got revenue sharing. You got all kinds of airdrops. And of course, crypto.com does some of those. But there's a lot that goes on on the DeFi side of things that I want to explain display to you guys, including some crazy price gains. If you guys are familiar with Mad Meerkat Finance, they had an NFT drop back in the day. They minted their Mad Meerkats for like 400 crow. Now they're worth, I think the floor price is like 4,000, but they go up a heck of a lot higher than that. And there's plenty of those examples that I can give you on the Kronos chain and specifically Abyssus Bay. And so Abyssus Bay essentially is kind of like the open sea to Ethereum. Abyssus Bay is to the Kronos chain. So that is the main NFT marketplace that you probably want to go to. There are some other ones. Just to be completely fair here, there's also Crow C and there's also Agora that I'm familiar with. But Abyssus Bay really is the head honcho at this point in time. And so in this video, I'm actually going to pull out my phone. I'm going to walk you guys through exactly everything about Abyssus Bay, everything about this screen. We're going to actually be purchasing some NFTs and we're going to be putting an NFT up for sale through Abyssus Bay as well. So it's going to be fully all inclusive here. And of course, at the end of this video, if you have any further questions, go ahead and put them in the comments section below. But having said that, nothing in this video should be considered financial advice. This is simply for educational and entertainment purposes. So always do your own research as always. But having said that, let's go ahead and get started. And so like I said, I'm going to make this very beginner friendly. We're going to go ahead and start all the way at the beginning. First thing you're going to want to do is download the crypto.com DeFi wallet. This is not the same thing. It's a crypto.com centralized app. This is a separate thing. So crypto.com DeFi wallet, go ahead and download that. Once that's pulled up, and again, I'm going to be looking at my phone to make sure I don't miss anything. At the very bottom, you guys are going to see a little buy icon. You're going to go ahead and hit that. Next thing you're going to want to do is hit buy now. It's going to be the blue area, blue rectangle at the bottom of the screen there. Then you're gonna go ahead and find whatever token you're looking for. If you're looking to buy NFTs through Abyssus Bay, you're gonna to wanna to look for Kronos. That's of course what Crow is known as now. It's not the crypto.com coin anymore, but so the next thing may confuse some people. So when you hit Kronos, there's three different options for three different networks. There's ERC20, there's Crow, and then there's Kronos. And so you're not gonna want ERC20 obviously because that is Ethereum's network. You're not gonna want Crow because that is the crypto.org chain. What you're gonna want is the Kronos one. So go ahead and select Kronos. Kronos. And you guys can see there at the bottom, the transfer fee is 0.2 crow. So that's what maybe 10, 20 cents or something like that. So gas fees on Kronos are around that. It's maybe a little bit more when you're going to buy an NFT, but very inexpensive though. And so after you actually go through with that, the amount of time it takes for that crow to actually show up in your DeFi wallet is probably less than a minute. So it's not going to take all that long. And then when that does show up, if you go back to your wallet icon at the bottom of your main screen, it's going to show your total balance all the way at the top. That's where that's going to be located. And then of course, going back to that buy screen, you guys can see some of my buy history as well. And I will say sometimes when I go to buy, especially when it's a higher amount, Sometimes my bank will kind of reject it because they're iffy about me making this purchase for whatever reason. If that happens, uh, there's actually another pop-up screen that comes up with the telephone number to whatever your specific bank is. You just call them, they get it approved, and then you can go back in and actually do the transaction. But I actually just did one earlier today for 50 crow and it went through just fine. So I didn't even have to call my bank there. So most of the time you'll be fine. Every now and then you might have to call them. But anyways, the other thing you could do to get Crow into your DeFi wallet to purchase NFTs is to actually go ahead and transfer it from the crypto.com centralized app to your DeFi wallet. And it's pretty simple. The only thing, again, you have to just choose the correct network. And so again, when you actually go to transfer that, it's gonna give you those three options. Always choose Kronos. That's essentially the moral of this story. <laughs> Always choose Kronos if you're going to be buying NFTs on the Kronos chain, that makes sense. And so now that we have gone over how to actually get funds, how to actually get Crow on the Kronos network into your DeFi wallet, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and pull up Abyssus Bay. And so on the very bottom middle of the screen, you're gonna see dApps. And so go ahead and hit that. Next thing, the easy 
easiest way to get to Abyss's Bay, there's essentially three columns. There's popular, chronos daps, and then there's saved. Saved is pretty cool. You can save a couple of your favorite daps that you always go to, which I do. But chronos daps is the easiest way to find this if you're a first time person here. Go ahead and keep scrolling all the way to close to the bottom. And then you're gonna see Abyss's Bay. So go ahead and hit that then. And so this next screen that's gonna come up is the Abyss's Bay home screen, essentially where everything is. So upper right hand corner, you're gonna see two things. You're gonna see there's three lines, which I'll go over in a second, but then you're gonna also see this pixelated logo. That's gonna show that you have actually logged in successfully. And that's why I wanted you guys to go in through the DeFi wallet because you don't go in through the crypto.com DeFi wallet, it's not gonna automatically log you in. This is the simplest way of doing it. So if you see that pixelated logo, you're already logged in, congratulations. But if you were to actually hit that, you're gonna see your wallet address, and so you can copy that. Let's say if you win an NFT or something, that's probably the easiest way to go ahead and copy that. You're gonna see your wallet balance, and then most importantly, you're gonna see my NFTs. And so if you were to actually hit that and scroll down a little bit, then it's gonna show all your different NFTs that you currently have on the Kronos chain. So the next thing, like I said, I wanted to cover is those three lines in the upper right hand corner. Now, when you first get to that main screen, that's nice, but I almost never use that home screen because everything is so much more efficient if you actually just go in manually. And so, and what I mean by that, if you hit those three lines, you got the home screen, but then you got marketplace, collections, and drops. These are the three little tabs that I always use every single time. And so let me first touch on marketplace, essentially. When you pull up that marketplace, you're gonna see two different drops drop down sections just below if you scroll down a little bit. The first one is going to be for the actual NFT project that you're looking for. So you can actually type it in or you can just scroll through. It's in alphabetical order. So you could search Cosmonauts or Cosmocrafts. You could search Chronomes. You could search Marie Cyborgs or Mad Meerkat Treehouse. Whatever you want to do, all you need to do is hit that drop down arrow. The second drop down arrow is also very handy because that allows you to search by the latest listings, but more importantly, the lowest price. So if maybe I was looking for the lowest price Marie Cyborgs, let's say, I would go and select Marie Cyborgs, and then I would also select price lowest, and that's gonna give me that floor price Marie Cyborgs if I were looking to get into that, and I already am. And so next on those three little lines there is going to be the collection section. And so first off, this gives you the opportunity to not only search by collection, so you can manually type it in if you wanted to, but it actually is pretty cool. They lay it out in the order of the most volume to the least volume. So there's maybe 80 or 90 projects right now through Abyssus Bay and number one is Mad Meerkat. Number two is Mad Meerkat Treehouse. I, honestly, I really want to get one of those bad meerkat tree houses, but the floor price is nearly 2,900 crow or 3,000 crow. It's a bit too expensive for me right now, but that would be so sweet. That's such a sick NFT. But if you keep on going, you'll see Marie Cyborgs. You'll see Meta Cyborgs, which is pretty cool too. You'll see Cosmonauts, Cosmocraft NFTs. There's a bunch of them that I'm really into. But as you go down, essentially the volume gets lower. Most respectable ones are going to be the ones with the most volume, obviously, at the very top. And so next on those three little lines, the next section is going to be drops. And so why would you want to go and do drops rather than just search for the NFTs on the secondary market, let's say? Well, the drops are good to get because then you have the opportunity of paying that same mint price as everybody else with the possibility of getting a rare or legendary, whatever the equivalent is of the NFT that you are getting into. Because then if you get that rare or legendary, whatever it is, you can then go into that secondary market and sell it for a lot higher price traditionally than the mint price that you actually paid for it. So it's essentially like the lottery, I guess you could say, for the project that you're getting into, so. And so what I'm gonna show you guys here is the Cosmo Craft collection. I've already mentioned that. So we're gonna go ahead and try to mint one of these. Not sure if I'm going to do it through the original mint here or the secondary market. Maybe I'll put some parts together there, but let's go ahead and get into that here. And so just real quick, why I'm actually buying this NFT, I'm buying it for the digital art for one. I think it looks really good, but also I'm buying this particular one because this project is going to have added utility, including NFT staking. I'm not sure which platform it's gonna be through quite yet, but NFT staking is going to earn me passive income, which typically will then come out in the form of whatever native token it is on, whatever DEX it's on, but then you can go to the swap feature and just simply swap it into Crow if you wanted to. And also with this particular project, there is going to be gamification, AKA races with spacecrafts as well, which is pretty cool. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and go to that Crosmocraft parts there. I'm going to select mint quantity. That's the next screen. You can select up to a certain number. Now, every NFT project is going to allow you 
a different number of max NFTs you can mint at one time. So that's gonna be different, but you can select the quantity there. Then you're gonna go ahead and hit mint, and then it's gonna ask me to confirm the price, which in this case is a whitelist price because I own a Crosma Knot, which gives you a whitelist automatically for the Crosma Craft Collection, which is pretty cool utility there as well. So essentially it's going to be 65 crow plus 0.72 crow as a gas fee, which is essentially 30 cents at the current 40 cent crow that we have right now. So then I would go ahead and hit confirm and then I would go back to the main screen, go to that pixelated logo and then go to my NFTs and it would be sitting there waiting for me essentially. But I don't think I'm gonna do that because I've already checked the secondary markets and right now at least, it seems like those secondary markets are a little less expensive than even that whitelist price. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So the way this particular NFT works, they're all different, but this particular one you need three of the same rarity parts. So let's say I need either one regular space deck, one regular booster, and one regular engine, or one great space deck, one great booster, one great engine. They all have to be the same rarity basically, but then you put all three together and you get your Cosmocraft. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to purchase on the secondary market. Looks like I actually found a great space deck for 50 crow. That sounds really, really good because that's below the whitelist mint price. So I'm gonna go ahead then and hit buy now. Next thing I'm gonna do is it says, 50 crow, approximately $20.34. It's gonna have a network fee or a gas fee of 2.85 crow, totaling 52 crow, still much less than the 65 crow mint price. I'm gonna go ahead then and hit confirm. And then essentially you're gonna wait maybe five, 10 seconds, and then something's gonna pop up at the very bottom that says success. And then of course you actually have that NFT viewable when you go to my NFT yet again. So you're gonna repeat the same thing with, I'm gonna do a great booster, and then I'm going to do a great engine as well. And so cool thing about this NFT, and I think this is the first one of its kind, typically you just buy something once and then that's the NFT. But Cosmocrafts did something different here where you can actually combine all of them and build a great ship through Abyssus Bay actually. So that is pretty cool. So now let's go ahead and do that. It says build great ship, quantity one. I'm gonna go ahead and hit mint. Then it's gonna say minting, and then it's gonna give me a gas fee of 1.1 crow. So essentially I don't have to pay anything for actually building this craft. I'm just gonna have to pay the 1.1 crow and it's minting and there it goes. Number 1946, I got a Army Green, Fortune Favors, The Brave, Cosmocraft with a bunch of missiles on it, which is pretty cool. But anyways, that's pretty cool. I love that, that's so stinking cool. Now, of course, when you go into the drop, you can actually see how much has been minted so far. So right now, it says 57% minted at the time of me making this video. Of course, when the video comes out, I'm sure it'll be 100% minted. They probably will sell out in 24 hours or something like that. And so, but that pretty much rounds out how to go about purchasing an NFT through Abyssus Bay. But now, let's go ahead and make our way into actually selling an NFT through Abyssus Bay. So, quite honestly, I really don't have any that I want to sell right now, but we're gonna go ahead and do it for the sake of this video. I'm gonna put up for sale, I guess you could say, my Crosmo baby, because there's no way I want to sell my Crosmonaut or my Cosmocraft, obviously, or my Chronomes or anything, Marie Cyborgs or Meta Cyborgs, any of that. I want to keep all of them because they all have very good utility. I'm not sure the utility for the Cross My Baby right now, so I'm just going to put that up for sale and see what happens. But I'm going to go ahead and go to my NFTs. Next thing you're going to see here is under the NFT, you're actually going to see sell. You're going to go ahead and hit that. But first thing, before you even hit sell, probably a good idea is to go into the collection section, go to Crosmo Baby and see what the other other Crossmo Baby NFTs are actually selling for. So you have a better idea of what to actually list this thing for. So anyways, go ahead and hit sell then. But first it's going to ask for my approval. So I'm just gonna hit continue and I'm going to confirm the gas fee yet again. And these gas fees are so minimal. It seems like they pop up all the time, but they're like 10, 20 cents here and there. So it's not really a big deal. Then you're gonna enter the price. I'm just gonna put in a round number, 100 crow, just to make this simple as an example for this video. Somebody wants to buy it, they can, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue. And then I'm going to hit finish to confirm my listing. And then I'm going to confirm yet again for 1.78 crow in a gas fee. And now it's going to show that I have this for sale. If you go to my NFTs, it's going to show 100 crow under that particular NFT showing that it's for sale currently. And actually, if you're under my NFT, you actually have the option to hit this little blue section for only listed, and that's gonna show all the NFTs that you currently have listed for sale in Abyssus Bay as well, which is 
Only this one for me right now. So essentially now it's just a waiting game. We'll see if anyone purchases that one. But ultimately, like I said at the beginning of the video, I am a big fan of Abyssus Bay. I think Kronos chain NFTs have so much more utility. I think that's an undeniable fact at this point than the crypto.com backslash NFTs. I will say the crypto.com NFT platform is a little bit easier to purchase because you just can simply link your credit card or debit card up to them if you wanted to and just purchase them that way. But again, you forego a lot of the utility that you get on the Kronos chain chain, which in my opinion, it's not worth it then for the crypto.org chain. Because like I said, you get NFT staking. I staked my Marie Cyborg for the first month. I earned 64C NFT, which came out to be approximately between 70 and 90 crow, give or take. It depends on the price of C NFT at any given time. But right now it's 70 to 90 crow in one month for staking an NFT. That's incredible. You can't get that on crypto.com NFT. But anyways, let me know if you guys have any questions about Abyssus Bay in the comments section below. I'm always happy to answer them. And that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen for different cryptocurrency and NFT updates. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into crypto.com, crow and chronos. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold